With your local area news this morning, I'm Justin Mott. The new year began with a swearing-in ceremony for several Shelby County newly elected officials at midnight at the Shelby County Sheriff's Office. Those sworn in were Willis Blackwell, Shelby County Sheriff, Zach War, Constable Precinct Number 1, Jamie Hagler, Constable Precinct 2, Roy Cheatwood, Constable Precinct 3, and Jake Metcalf, Constable Precinct Number 4. After they were sworn in, Charles Barr, Commissioner Precinct Number 3, was also sworn in. Yesterday, Judge Leanne K. Rafferty, 123rd District Court Judge, was sworn in at the historic Shelby County Courthouse. I, Leanne K. Rafferty, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute the duties of the office of judge of the 123rd District Court of the State of Texas and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution and the laws of the United States and of this state. So help me God. A correction on some of the school schedules. Center will be starting back Wednesday the 4th. That's tomorrow. Timpson started back yesterday. Tennehall will be starting back on Monday. Shelbyville will be starting today. Joaquin, Excelsior, St. Augustine, and Carthage will also be starting school back today. I apologize for any conflicts. The EP's Texas Beekeepers Association is going to have a meeting starting tonight at 6 p.m. at the St. Augustine County Chamber of Commerce. The City of Center Public Water System will be conducting water system maintenance beginning today and lasting until the 31st. The system will be switching to free chlorine as its main disinfection. And moving along in your church news this morning, the St. John's Missionary Baptist Church Women's Department is hosting the evening of Elegance Dinner, Music, and Comedy at their annual Valentine's Day banquet. It's going to be held at the John Dean Wyndham Civic Center on February the 4th, beginning at 6 p.m. Ticket prices are $25 per person, or a table of eight can be reserved for $200. Pastor Marlon Cloudy Sr. and the Bunnett Loves Man's Ministry would like to announce they're going to have a man's revival January the 5th through the 7th. Services will begin at 7 p.m. Thursday and Friday night, and at 10 a.m. on Saturday morning. The guest speaker is Pastor John Russell, Senior Pastor of of the Calvary Tabernacle in Alexandria, Louisiana. Everyone is invited to attend. The Gates Chapel Baptist Church of Shelbyville will host its annual Men's and Women's Day program on Sunday, January the 15th, beginning at 2.30 p.m. Special guest speaker will be Reverend Wilbert Simons of the Todd Springs Baptist Church. All citizens of Center with leftover holiday trash, the Center City Annex, located on Riggs Street next to the Korean shop, has a dumpster for public use open 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Tuesdays. You must have a City of Center water bill with a valid City of Center address on it. No paint, toxic chemicals, batteries, and or brush are allowed. And in your arrest report this morning in Shelby County, Michael Reynolds, age 47 of Center, driving while intoxicated. He was arrested in St. Augustine County and transferred to Shelby County. And in your obituaries this morning, Mr. James Earl Jones, age 60 of Center, passed away Saturday morning at Green Acres Nursing Center here in Center, Texas. Visitation will be held all day Thursday at the Community Funeral Home Chapel. His service is going to be held this Friday at 11 a.m. at the Abundant Love Ministries here in Center, Texas. Interment will follow the Mech Williams Cemetery in Shelbyville, with Pastor Marlon Cloudy Sr. officiating for his services. He is survived by his his wife, Dorothy James of Center, one daughter, one grandson, three sisters, three brothers, one uncle, and two aunts. 32 year old Amanda Bean Matthews of Center passed away Friday the 30th, and Center visitation took place yesterday at the Watson and Sons Funeral Home. Funeral service will take place today at 2 p.m. at the Watson and Sons Chapel with Brother Mike Belgard officiating. Interment will follow at the Oakland Memorial Park. She is survived by her husband, Jude Matthews of Center, three children, one sister, one brother, her grandmother, her father in law, plus numerous other friends and family. Services are still pending for 79 year old Miss Rose Kendall of Hemphill, who passed away. Thursday the 29th in Hemp Hill. This has been your local and area news.